about dash cam. Now in my emails, you can imagine, I get a lot of offers. I get dash cam offers probably twice a week, at least five, six times a month for all sorts of different ones. Matter of fact, in the Escalade, I own a Blackview dash cam that I actually bought, that I paid for. All these offers coming in, they want me to make YouTube videos, and I just really don't do dash cam videos. I just really don't do reviews on dash cams. Although I really like dash cams, I just don't really, it's not my thing. But, but recently I got an email, and the guy says, well, I've seen all your videos, I know everything about you, I've been watching you for years, will you try out our dash cam? So guess what? So I said, sure, send it. I'll throw it in the F-250, I'll throw it somewhere, and I'll see if I like it. If I don't, I'll let you know. If I do, I'll make a YouTube video about it. So I don't know if this is any good or not, I don't know anything about it, but let's open it up, take a look at it, let's see how it does on the road, and more importantly, I think I want to see how this does when it's put up against four 18 inch subwoofers and 30,000 watts. Yeah, that's right, we'll put it in the Tahoe and see how it does. All right, so you know it's never a proper unboxing with the old steak knife. Me and this thing, we go way back. But I broke it a few videos back and it's barely held together with electrical tape. It's actually kind of dangerous. I wouldn't want to cut anything except tape with it. But I got something in the mail. I have no idea who these people are, but they must have seen my plate. They must have seen my struggle because look what I got. Straight from Amazon, man. I love you guys so much. This is from, this thing says, stay out of your wife's drawers. Love the content from Andy, Mama, and the Malamute. So check it out. I got a pack of four steak knives. I don't think we're ever gonna run out of steak knives. Yeah, appreciate that. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, let's see. Oh, this one's got rivets. Extra quality right there. This is like Ginsu almost. Shit. Right on, right on. Well, let's open up that box and see what's inside of it. All right, we got the little thank you note. Congrats on your Vava dash cam. I mean, it's all right there. Probably can't read it, but there it is. Let's see what this other stuff is. How do you open it? Don't make me get the steak knife. All right, looks like we got a USB adapter. Some sort. Not sure what this is. Probably some sort of swivel mount. I think it is. Oh, nice. I need one of these. I guess something like this would be if you're not going to hardwire it in your car. For the most part, I hardwire them, but this is nice to plug and play. No cigarette lighter adapter. It looks like it even comes with a pry tool, which is real nice. I mean, I happen to have some of these over in my toolbox, but for them to supply this is real nice. This means you can tuck the wires up in the headliner, down the A-pillar, and then over into your fuse box or whatever you're doing. I guess all the way to your cigarette lighter if that's how you're gonna do it. But you still don't want wires hanging over in front of your face. So this is nice. What we got here? Let's see what this is. I haven't gotten to the actual camera yet. What's this? I don't even know what that is. It's the actual camera? Okay. Oh, okay, there's the lens. Now that's a strange looking camera. I've never seen one like that. It's like about the size of an ice cream cookie or maybe a uh, little bit smaller than a hockey puck. So this must be the mount. Let's see what happens. Okay, there you go. I'm starting to like this already. I haven't even used it yet. I like that a lot. So it looks like you can have it aimed towards the road. 
And if you want to whip it around and aim it inside the cabin, you can do that, which sort of makes this good for bass demos if it can handle the sound pressure. I still want to know what this is, though. What is this do? All right, when all else fails, there's always the instructions you can go to. Normally, I don't mess around with these damn things. But look, this is a snapshot button. I guess you can hit this and get a snapshot of whatever you're filming. I think I'm gonna like that a lot. Let's hook this thing up, see what it looks like. Now this might just look like an advertisement for somebody's dash cam. And uh, I guess it would be if it looks good. We're gonna find out. But I have no stake in the matter. The guy sent it to me for free. The last dash cam I bought, it's in my Escalade right now. I paid for it and I told you what I thought about it. This one, I'm gonna play with it. I'm gonna tell you what I think about it. Matter of fact, I'm not just gonna tell you what I think about it. I'm gonna show you and you can decide what you think about it. So we need to go over there, I need to get my Escalade, I need to pop it in. We'll do a couple videos, a couple little pulls with the turbos, and then we'll bring it over to the Tahoe and turn on some bass and see how it does. Seems pretty simple. Let's get all this stuff ahead out there. I've already got a dash cam in here, a pretty nice one. But I'm gonna put this one in there anyways because it'll be easy. And if I like it enough, I'm gonna put one in all these cars. Let's just plug it into the cigarette lighter and see what happens though. Just plop it right up there on the windshield, plug it into the cigarette lighter wherever it's at. I don't know where it's at, I don't really smoke cigarettes, so. No, it's in here somewhere though. All right, this seems like a good spot right here. I think I found it. Let's do that. All right, this thing has a little suction cup thingy on it with a little button. Damn. Go. So I've already got a dash cam here. I'm just gonna put it right next to it for now. I hope that doesn't stick for life though. Is that a lifer? I wanna be able to get that thing off of there. This ain't staying. for now. Audio recording off. Well look, as you can see, you can turn it around, aim it at the street. Or you can turn it around and aim it inside the cab. I guess if you're a Lyft driver or an Uber driver, that'd be a good thing to have. Or a bass demo, who knows? I don't know how this thing's gonna handle the bass, but we'll try it out here in a little bit. But first, let's try the turbos out. Let's plug this thing in. Let's see, I mean, look, this thing should come right off of here. Man, look at that. This is really sturdy. So, we'll go ahead and just plug this in. The USB thing is somewhere in here. There it is. Keep in mind, this thing is designed to be tucked up into the headliner and everything else and done up all nice, which I definitely could do if I was gonna keep it in here. And I might keep it in here. If I do, I will. But for right now, we'll just send it right over the top. We'll bring it over this way so it's not in the field of view. And then uh, really, shoot, I don't even think I need the cigarette lighter adapter. I got a USB port right here. Super long port too, so. This thing really could be tucked up in there. We're not, we don't need to do that right now. So, I'm not gonna turn it on just yet. I guess I gotta get an app. We're gonna download it, put it on this phone, and then uh, see what it does. So I'm guessing it's gonna be something called Vava. Vava Dash. I think this is the right one. Looks like it is. Double click to install. Guess I forgot to put the SD card in. It doesn't come with one, so 
Got to have one ready to go. I, luckily for me, I had a spare. Peel that little thing up right there. Damn it, I never get that right the first try. There we go. All right. Let's turn this thing off. Connected right away, like right away. That was pretty good. So do I have to hit anything? What do we do here? Oh, look at that. Micro card format error. Please format it. All right, let's format it. Okay, we're restarting the dash. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's working. Oh, look at that. Real time. Dang. Okay, all right. See that, KK? Yeah. All right. That looks actually pretty good. What kind of settings do we have in here? What am I on? Okay, dash cam name. We're just going to call this SMD because I don't like all those random numbers. SMD. Turn. Oops, hit check mark. So it's got a bunch of settings on it. Um, loop recording time. We'll just say three minutes because I like to have a lot of video before that thing loops to another file. That's easy. Okay, video resolution. 1920 by 1080 at 60. Now you're actually watching this video on a Sony 4K camera that I prefer to keep back at 1080 by 60 frames because I think it looks better. I'd rather have 1080 at 60 frames than 4K at 30 frames any day. But let's see what the other options are. So we got 1920 by 1080 at 60, which I'm more than happy with. And um, well, that's it. Okay, that's our only choice it looks like. They might have better ones out. I don't know. But I have no problem 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames. So as you can see, we can turn the sound off. We can turn the LED off. We can turn, I guess, audio. I don't know if audio and re record sound is the same thing. I don't know what that is. Uh, we could do the watermark. Looks like I can uh, do logo, time, and speed. Or just the logo and the time. Um, GPS is on, so it'll probably do speedometer. I mean, this thing's ready to go. It actually just started raining. My caddy was clean. Now it's gonna be dirty for this video. Awesome. All right. Just got a notification, the dash cam's Wi-Fi is connected. Seems pretty responsive, I like that. And you can see the raindrops hidden. So this little snapshot button, I don't know if it's actually going to take a snapshot or not. Let's find out. I don't know. Does it need a battery or something? I need to get recharged or something. I don't know. I'll have to look that up and see how that works. All right, well, let's go for a little ride and see how this thing does. I guess uh, from here on out, I'm just gonna post up whatever's on this camera and uh, see if it's any good. I don't even know how to get the files yet. I, I sort of do, but next time you see me, it's gonna be through this camera lens. Kind of a crappy day to be doing this. Wish it was like blue skies and sunshine.
All right, so I just got done saving a bunch of video from our little drive to where we're at right now. Now I'm gonna turn this thing around and aim it at us, and we'll do it one more time and see how it looks. Then we'll bring it over the Tahoe and put some base on it. But I guess you just take this thing here, and you just turn it. i use my little camera here. See what, what the best little angle's gonna be. Okay, that was with wind, this is without wind. So, we're just cruising. Looks pretty good down there on the phone, from what I can see when I'm trying to drive. Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> I felt it get loose, did you? Yeah. And it's, my traction control is on too, that's the crazy part. Even with traction control on, it still get loose. All right, so I guess this is the way to get the files. Um, whoops, I'm already connected. Um, I guess you just hit this here. And um, the last couple files when we turned it on ourselves is like right here. Okay, now that I've got all these, I just go through one by one, find the one that I want to actually save and I sort of want to save them all. So yeah, each one you sort of got to hit the button and download it and then you save it to your photo album. But normally when you're taking video over your dash cam you're never even gonna use this thing for anything unless it's an emergency so this is only for the sake of this video that I'm gonna save these last few clips from us driving all right we got that dash cam up in the Tahoe Hey, this thing works great for driving, but let's see how it handles bass. We're gonna put it on 418s and see exactly how well it can reproduce it. I mean, I'm not expecting it to sound like you're really in there on, from your point of view, but as long as it doesn't distort too bad, that'll be good. But it's probably gonna shake too since it's on the windshield. Let's find out. I guess we're gonna find out what this thing sounds like if you actually put some beat on it. Spark in this dark out, this light show. All these lights around the crib. Yeah, it's just the way we live. Gonna leave it down low for a second. A little bit of burner, light show, featuring Kevin Beats. sound is what I'm more interested in than anything else but the windshield is making a turn because it's basically like moving like a half an inch either direction
how we keep it lifted. On your fine, get it done. Trouble. Time to back this thing, put it back in the shop, just like nothing happened. Mm. All right, I've been transferring these files straight to my phone through Wi Fi. But one thing I'd like to know is, can I plug it straight into the computer and get the files that way? Let's pop it out of here and find out. All right, so I guess you can't just plug your USB cord in and get your files. So that ain't gonna work. But I'm betting that you can probably still take the chip out and see what they look like. Because sometimes it's easier to grab the files right off the computer than to try to save them all to your phone. There's the emergency ones. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks like everything's here. Hit the back button, let's see what the regular ones are. GPS data. Movies. So here's pretty much everything right here. What kind of file format is this gonna be? MP4. Shoot, we're good to go. Let's see how they play. That looks good. <laughs> hey, from what I'm seeing right now on this screen, to me, that looks great. It's not 4K, it's 1080 at 60 frames, but it still looks awesome, and I can deal with that. I think I'm gonna buy me a couple more of these and put them in all the cars. I mean, man, you can turn that thing around and aim it wherever you want. You can't really beat that. Yeah. Uh, it's working. I'm going to go home. I'm going to edit this video. And we'll see if you guys like what it looks like when you actually see it.